Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use version control on the GameMaker project together with GitHub. So why should you bother about version control? The first reason is that version control gives you a backup. You can restore your project at any state in case a file corrupts or if you deleted something by accident. The second reason is you can collaborate with your friends because you cannot put a GameMaker project inside of a Dropbox. And the third reason is you have a solid workflow. You will never save a file as a final final again. So what do you need for that? First of all, of course, you need your game maker project. Then you need a GitHub account, and then you need a desktop application that is pushing and pulling files from and to GitHub. And in this case, we will use Anchor Point. Also, everything we cover here in this tutorial works with the free version of these tools. So before we dive into this, let's take a look at the project structure first. I recommend usually setting up a main project folder and then splitting subfolders for your development, for example. And this is where all your game maker files will be located. And then you have also a folder for art. And this is, for example, where your sprites will be located, your Photoshop files, and so on and so on. You can also extend this with an audio folder or with a folder for your writing. So that the main project folder, let's say, covers all into this. We will basically also put the art files and the audio files and so on into GitHub as well, because we then have one unified workflow for our whole project. So to get started, we first need to create a GitHub account. So go over to github.com and then sign up for an account and go through this form here. So once you have a GitHub account, you should be able to see the dashboard. And that's all you need to do on GitHub. The next thing is to get Anchor Point. So go to anchorpoint.com slash download and then download the application for your operating system. It will start a 14 day trial, but once it's over, you can continue using the free version. Once you have installed Anchor Point, let me bring this over. The first thing we need to do is connect it with GitHub. Because we have an Anchor Point account and we have a GitHub account, we need to connect them together. So if you are at the projects page, if you're not here, just create a new tab. Scroll just down to the integrations and here click on connect application. Now pick GitHub, click on connect, and this will start the GitHub login. It will basically open up the web browser on GitHub where you need to authenticate. So if you see something like this, just scroll down and click on authorize anchor point. Okay, that's totally fine. The application will come back over and now we need to test and activate the integration. And that's basically it. All right, let me close this window here and create a new repository. Now I go to the project here and projects and repositories are synced in anchor point and GitHub. I need to click on new project and then pick Git repository. And here I need to browse to the folder. All right, and I'm selecting the root folder of the project which contains my game maker project and my source files. Under the remote settings, we pick on new GitHub repository. And in this case, we don't need a template for Git ignores. A Git ignore is basically a rule set written in a file that shows you which kind of files you don't want to upload to Git. So we simply can continue. We can leave the name as it is. And in this case, I don't want to invite a product member. We can do this at a later step. So now I just click create project and it will create a project on GitHub and on Anchor Point as well. Now I have the project here. So here's my root folder and I have my art files and my game maker project here. And in the timeline, it will show me a list of all changed files. So I have to click on changed files here. And this will show me basically all the files that are in my project. And the first thing I would like to do is always making an initial commit to upload all these files to GitHub. And let me click on sync. Now it will create a commit, means it will create a local version of these files, backing them up basically, and then it will start pushing the files to GitHub. So if the push was successful, you should see the initial commit marked as a version. This is basically now on GitHub. So what we can do is to work on our GameMaker project. So let me go back to GameMaker. And now um, let me say I'm currently would like to make some changes to the audio here. So let me just change this target scale, I don't know, from 0.6. So this is not a really meaningful change, but you know, once I've saved this, I can go back to anchor point and it will tell me that I have one changed file. And it's basically listing all the files that I have changed. If I click on the view here, I can even see exactly which line I have modified. So I removed this uh, 0.95 and I added the 0.6. It will basically show me exactly what things I have changed. And then the way I work with this is I'm making these changes. And after I'm finished making these changes, I'm writing a meaningful commit message. And then I press sync again. 
But what happens if I would like to experiment, try things out, and I'm not really sure if I would like to commit this. So let's say I make a change, and for example, I change this to 0.3, and I did edit it, for example, multiple sprites, multiple scripts. So for example, let me just add a comment here and save this as well. Let me add a comment here. and save this as well. So let's say I make some experimental changes because somehow they belong all together. And if I go back to anchor point, it will list me three changed files. And I don't like this change because let's say the game, I broke the game, it's crashing. I modified multiple files and you know, to undoing all these changes manually would require a lot of work. But with version control, basically this works with any version control system. You can select all these files, you do right click, you click on revert, and it will bring back these files to the previous state on the latest commit, basically on the state where we have been here. And Game Maker will then refresh the changes. It tells me, okay, product directory modified. You click on reload. And now the changes are basically gone. So with that, you can safely experiment and go back to previous states. So in the last part of this tutorial, we will look on how to add team members on the project. Let's say you want to make a game with your friends and how do you share all these code and assets basically. Well, let me go back to Anchor Point and what you can do here is click on product settings, click on members and then on assign member. So if you don't have any members here, you have to type in your email address of the member. If you have the member here, it will display basically here. I can select that and I click on assign to project. So this person will right now be assigned on a project in anchor point, but it needs to also be assigned on GitHub. So here I see basically where I need to add this person on GitHub. I click add member to GitHub and let me bring over GitHub here. And I have to add this person as well. So this implies that this person also needs to have a GitHub account. So let me add my member here. My member was found and I can add Catherine here to my project. So what should you do on the member side? First of all, you will get an email from GitHub where you see the invitation from GitHub. You need to click on view invitation. Then if you see this page, you need to log in, of course, and then you need to accept the invitation. All right, now if you see the code here on GitHub, you can see this in Anchor Point as well. Let me go back to Anchor Point, and now you have to click on Join Git Repository. And this will first of all check, okay, do you have access on GitHub? Yes, we have, because we already have seen this before. Now we need to check the credentials, and this is the part where Anchor Point and GitHub will basically connect. So we click on Check Credentials. If the credentials are there, you can download the product right now. If they are not there, you need to do some authentication to GitHub like we did at the beginning. So let me browse and let me, for example, create a folder here. Select the folder. In this case, we will download everything. We'll click on join and now it will download all the files from GitHub. And here as a team member, I'm working exactly the same way as I did before. I make some changes in my Game Maker project and then I submit the changes and that's basically it. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you and that you learned how to use version control on a GameMaker project together with GitHub. Thank you for watching.